So far, what two population models have we done? So we've done one where it starts off at a population and just goes up exponentially. Last lesson we also did one where it went up and it limited, so bounded growth or bounded population. Today we are doing the combination of both in one equation. This is called the logistics model. Okay. Um, it was developed in the 1800s, 1700s. You've got a population, it exhibits logistic growth, defined by this, and what does this tell us? The initial population is 100, let's say, people, dogs, whatever it is, bacteria. Solve for NT using the logistics equation directly. So we can just take the equation and that will give us the population. Where, what are our A and B values? There's our A and B values. So in this example, What's our A value? What's the number next to just regular N in the differential equation? So A is 1. What's our B value? Positive 0 0.002. Any questions so far? So we have this equation. There are multiple forms of this, but if you have the differential that looks like this, you will get the same answer for the population model N in terms of T. This is the one I'm going to use. This is the same as 2 over 1,000. So if we invert it, it becomes 500. So if we're dividing by 0 0.02, we can just rewrite all of this as 500. What's the initial population? N0 is the initial. 100. Very good. Again, I just said 1 over 0 0.02 is... 500. And I said the initial is 100. A is 1. So that's it. That is our population model. We can simplify that a little bit. What are we left with? And this bottom bit, we can rewrite it as all of it to the power of what? Negative 1. Everything on the bottom of a fraction, you can rewrite on the top of a fraction as negative 1. So let's leave it like that. There is our logistics model. So let's use this as y, let's use this as x. And this is what you get in your TI calculator. Question two. So I'm just going to cheat. Let's just pretend I drew that. <laughs> you don't want to watch me. Look, it's, it just looks like this. <laughs> Bounded at some number. What is the number? Let's use the calculator to figure it out. <coughs> Menu, analyze, 
maximum maximum is 500 for the y value or the n. So like bounded growth, it stops. I don't know. We're going to solve for nt by applying the integral calculus. So we're going to pretty much find this answer that we just found using calculus. So let's go! <laughs> so we have dn dt equals n minus 0.00210 squared. First step, everybody, or someone, flip it. can bring dn over this side so it's with the ends and integrate dt <coughs> to become t so everyone get I brought the dn over we've done it a lot now we do have to use partial fractions so we can actually write the bottom row in that form that I showed you here. So we could rewrite this bottom row as n, what would inside the brackets be? N. Okay. Everyone with me so far? Does everyone remember this bad boy? We have a number. Good job. So let's split it into two fractions. And we're trying to figure out what the A and the B are. To, so then we can integrate it. You guys remember doing this? So then we need to make the denominators the same. So we multiply by the corresponding denominators. So now we need to solve for A and B. And what did those two things added together originally equal? One. So that if we just look at the top row, Now what number could we sub in for n? Um, we can sub in 0 and 500. So let's sub in 0 first to find a. If we sub in n equals 0, probably should communicate that. n equals 0. We have this becomes 0 and this becomes 0. So we're just left with a equal to 1. Let's sub in, subbing in these numbers, y. Correct. We're trying to eliminate one of these, so we're only left with a or b. So if we sub in 500 here, it's going to eliminate the a. This will become 1 minus whatever this is. So we're left with b times 500. So therefore, B equals this number. We can integrate them separately. So here's my next tip. If you get a fraction like this second one, You want to simplify the fraction before you integrate. <coughs> so what could we turn this into? 1 over 500. So 
So the second fraction, the turn I put 500 on the bottom. Hoping that's very easy for you to integrate. And this is all equal to t in case you forgot. Natural log. This one becomes. So the coefficient is negative one. So natural log of the bottom. And you remember our log laws. Actually, I forgot something. Plus C. Remember our log laws. What do these two become? Very good. Okay. So what was the T value that they gave us? They gave us one case. So they gave us T equals zero n equals 100. So we sub those two in. So we started with 100 people. 500 minus 100. So C is negative natural log a quarter. So now we can sub that in. Is it? Yes, I think. Sounds about right. So, so I brought I brought this over. I brought this over, and I got rid of the zeros divided by a hundred on. Anyway. Uh, now we can do log laws, so this becomes <coughs> we're dividing dividing by a quarter, so we can bring the four up the top. Is everyone comfortable with what I just did there? Log laws divide by a quarter is the same as multiplying by a half. Uh, divide multiplying by four. Convert it so we get E by, ah, so we start to get N by itself. So this becomes getting rid of the natural log. So we then have we need to try and get N by itself. divided by 4 is 1, 2, 5. Yeah. Negative t, bring the quarter over. And then we can factorize this. Let's factorize this. Thank 
and then flip both sides. This looks like it's going to work now. Flip both sides. There we go. I figured it out, guys. Flip both sides, and then we have the answer.